Since I was a kid, I was interested in cars. I just happened to be invited to a Formula One race uh, back in 1996. There's an incredible tradition of winning uh, with Williams, and uh, that's what I'm about. There were similar philosophies in terms of excellence and, and achieving excellence and, and winning, and I felt like there was a, a real good synergy there. What we focus on um, with Michael Town's performance training, it's a little bit different from what you're probably you know, normally used to with training. We basically um, tailor the training to the athlete and the sport that they play or whatever their game time situation calls for. So what we will be focused on is to develop training programs that will enhance the quickness and the strength and the power with the, with the pit crew so that uh, the movements that they have to execute during a pit stop, they're able to do that much, much more easily and much more efficiently. So the more efficiently they're able to do it, the quicker the times are going to be. With Michael Johnson's performance coming in, we're really looking to uh, look into uh, human factors uh, in the pit stop, uh, both from a training perspective, uh, nutrition, biomechanics, and all these aspects. The pit stop is so, is so important uh, to determine the final result of the race. So uh, now, at this time, uh, the pit stop are often during the race, or may, maybe three, four times. So it's very important to don't lose any important time there. Well, when you look at the development as in our progression through the season, we typically see around about half a second improvement through the season in terms of pit stop times in Australia to pit stop times in Brazil. Uh, and that's something which we want to get on top of so that we constantly see improvement through the season. I had the opportunity to, to spend some time with the pit crew themselves and talk with them about how they feel about that part of their job and their responsibilities. My objective is to get them to think more like athletes. And the objective is to uh, to get them down, uh, you know, around that three-second uh, 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 frame, uh, you know, for for pit stops, and it's possible. feel much better after spending a couple of days you know with the crew and, and getting an understanding of what type of pit stops they had last year you know and um, and you know they had some fast ones last year it's more so just trying to get consistent with that so the next uh, step is effectively for to get the, the feedback uh, from from Michael and his team in terms of how we improve things what metrics we need to be monitoring uh, and how we go about understanding how to improve the biomechanics of the, the stops. Now we're going to go back, um, my staff and I, and start to, uh, to put that program together. I'm, I'm encouraged after this visit. Um, I feel even more confident now that, that we can certainly help.